Hello and welcome to this course on DirectX. So we're going to be covering DirectX on a conceptual as well as on a practical level. And we shall be working on DirectX 11.2, which is only available for Windows 8 and above. So you're going to need Windows 8 if you want to follow along with this course. What exactly is DirectX? So DirectX is rendering API by Microsoft. It's the rival of OpenGL, which is more open than DirectX, which does not have owner per se. DirectX is made by Microsoft for, it's like a rendering library. It's like a huge rendering library as well as it has other components to DirectX as well, which we'll talk about. So basically DirectX is an API that Microsoft gives away for free for developers to create graphically rich applications. So DirectX is mostly used for applications like games where you have to create a 3D game engine. That's where you use DirectX. If you, if, if you want to create an application with which has a lot of rich graphics then you use DirectX in combination with other languages so for instance you can use DirectX and you can use the XAML the the XAML is another API for the UI that uh, that's only available for Windows 8 and above so if you want to create apps for the Windows 8 store and with, in combination with any of the languages you can use C sharp which is a managed form of DirectX or you can use C++ which is not managed but we will talk about all of that in detail. So we will be doing working on DirectX and we will be using C++ as a language as a choice. All right, so like I said, Direct3D or DirectX. Direct3D is a part of DirectX. It, it is a rendering library for writing high performance 3D graphics application using modern graphics hardware on your Windows platform. So it uses your graphics card on your PC to render things on the screen, rich graphics on the screen, okay? So, well, it's, it's what Direct3D is, it, it is a very low level library in the sense that it's a application programming interface or the API, it closely models the underlying graphics hardware that it controls. So it is right above uh, Direct3D or DirectX is a layer right above your graphics card. So, uh, which lets you also work on low level stuff. At the same time, it also, exposes a lot of high level API functions and methods that you can use to query your graphics card for various things, which we'll be looking at later on. Okay, so this course presents an introduction, you know, programming interactive computer graphics. We will uh, first start off by creating just a simple window, which itself is a huge task for DirectX. But fortunately, when you create a window, which involves a lot of code, so you just have to do it once, okay? You don't have to keep doing that again. You can, can, you can just, save that as a template and you don't have to worry about it and then we'll move on to creating triangles we'll move on to and after that we'll learn how to create quads and different primitives like a cube and then we'll learn how to rotate that cube then we'll learn how to shade that cube with textures and then we'll learn how to uh, add lights to the cube uh, so that it looks lit in the scene and we also start off by before we do all that uh, it's required it's very important that you have a good understanding about the mathematics involved behind graphics programming you're going to need at least some knowledge about vector algebra matrices and you're also going to need something uh, you also have to learn quaternions that is used for rotations in 3d graphics okay if you already know all of that, if you are well versed with vector algebra, if you're already well versed with matrices that and how it works for the graphics programming, and you also have learned about quaternions in some other language, maybe, then you're free to skip those courses, uh, those chapters. But I recommend that you at least came through it so that you don't miss anything. And we also going to have an introductory chapter to C++ slash CX, which is a form of C++ that Microsoft created from C++ 11. C++ 11 is a modern standard, which uses a lot of modern techniques like smart pointers and auto pointers and a bunch of other stuff. So C++ slash CX is a variant of C++ 11 that Microsoft uses. So that is the language that we're going to be using. Spec to be very precise, C++ slash CX is the language that we will be using for writing all the code for DirectX. And uh, the prerequisites are, you're gonna need at least Windows 8, okay? I mean, we will be working on DirectX 
one onwards 11.1 and 11.2 which only works for you know it only works on windows 8 and above if you have windows 10 that's good enough too because it also is backwards compatible with directx 11 and as long as far as the ide is concerned you're gonna you're gonna need at least visual studio 2013 so you can find that online it's pretty easy and it's free of charge and when you download your visual studio 2013 and when you download your windows sdk along with it it's one big package so when you are installing it you'll be getting a window that lets you choose the things that you want to install so when you're selecting the windows sdk so the directx stuff uh, comes along with it so you don't have to download like the olden days uh, where you had to download the ide for or first for instance visual studio or 2010 or 20 uh, 2008 or any of those previous versions you had to download that first then you had to look for the directx sdk online or then you had to download that but out here from starting from visual studio 2013 so what they've done for Windows 8, 8.1 user, and for Windows 10, you also have Visual Studio 2015, which is amazing. Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition that also can be downloaded for free, which is even better than 2013. That is if you have Windows 10. Okay, so I'm just going to assume that most of you all are having at least a Windows 8 PC. And if you have a Windows 8.1, it's even better. So download 2013, Visual Studio 2013, and make sure that you also grabbing the windows sdk along with it so when you're done there when you're done grabbing that sdk then the directx stuff comes along with it and then you can strictly start working on directx you can start writing for code for directx for if you have windows 10 and if you're downloaded 2015 then you can create projects that is that can be either directx 12 which we'll not be covering in this course because the documentation is not complete for microsoft uh, for microsoft itself yet and or you can also go for directx 11 it's backwards compatible with directx 7 so you can create an app for directx 7 or you can create an app for directx 12 but for our intents and purposes we're going to be sticking to directx 7 because for directx 12 the only biggest change that they've done is a lot of low level stuff low level changes which makes it run more even more efficiently but uh, transitioning from directx 11 if you already know directx 11.1 or 2 to over to 12 is not a big deal so if you're learning directx 11.1 or 11.2 and then you can easily transition to directx 12 all by yourself it's not a massive change there all right so that's the thing that you're gonna need and uh, having said that so let's get started with the first chapter that will be vector algebra so i'm going to see you next time thank you